Hi everyone, it's Darren Fraser here, and today I'm excited to be able to show you the long-awaited launch of industrial graphics within Aviva Insight. At its simplest, the intent of this functionality is to allow you to leverage the graphics you have in your on-premises monitor and control applications within Insight. You can reuse those graphics where you've already made a significant effort to develop. You can ensure consistency of user experience by providing your users with common graphics that are used both on, across both on-premises and cloud applications. And you can leverage our rich on-premises graphic editing tools to create and use more customized graphics in the cloud. So let's take a look at how this works. There's three components to leveraging graphics in Insight. Firstly, you need to have Integration Studio in your Aviva Connect account. This is our cloud tool for shared engineering development. It's Integration Studio that enables you to share graphics through the cloud between different on-premises users, as well as within Insight. The second piece is the ability to publish graphics from your on-premises application, such as InTouch or System Platform, into Aviva Connect. We've made this nice and easy by integrating it right into the application. And the third and final piece is Insight. Once the data is in the cloud, you can then add it to graphics within Insight and bind it to Insight tags. So let's take a look at how this process works. I've opened the demo application for InTouch. For the purposes of this demo, I've been using the InTouch Publisher to push my data from this application into Insight. You'll note at the top of the InTouch window maker, there's a cloud icon with the word Aviva. And we'll click here and have the option to sign into Aviva Connect. I enter my credentials and I'll select the account that I'm connecting to. In this case, I have multiple accounts that I'm a member of, but for this demo, we're going to use the Aviva Sandbox 15 that I have set up and have access to. Once the login's complete, you'll be able to see a shared drive option appear in my industrial graphic toolbox. And this is where you'll find the graphics that I've uploaded to the cloud. Moving them from my InTouch application into the cloud is as simple as drag and drop, where I can drag those graphics from my project folder in InTouch into my shared drive. You can see I've already created a couple of folders in my shared drive, and I can simply choose my digital meter that I want to use in the cloud and drag it down to my folder in the shared drive. The dialog will show the status of the upload and once it's complete, I'll be able to use this graphic within Insight. So now that the graphic has been copied across to my shared drive, let's actually just take a quick look at the graphic and open it up in our editor. You'll be able to see that the different variables that the graphic uses are set up as custom properties. And this is the way that we actually bind Insight tags to the graphic symbol. It's very simple. So let's jump across to Insight and see if we can use that graphic. So when I click on the search box in Insight, I already have a list of tags available. These tags were published from my on-premise InTouch application using the publisher that I spoke about previously. I choose the analog tags and you'll see a list of analogs that appear here with data already being uploaded that I've been uploading over the last couple of hours. I can switch to a graphic view of these tags and you'll note that there's not a graphic yet created. So I click on the create a graphic button. Now in our graphic, we have the ability to add tags using our pre-built symbols or to use symbols that I've uploaded from my on-premise application as we did just earlier. For the inbuilt graphics, I simply drag across one of my tags from the data panel, modify it to choose the visual representation that I want, and it's as simple as that. I have some different display options that I can choose as well. For the uploaded graphics, I click on our new toolbox, select the folder where my graphic is, and you'll be able to see thumbnails that appear and show what that graphic looks like. And again, simply drag and drop onto the screen. I click on the symbol and select properties. And this brings the property editor up on the right hand side and allows me to set the bindings. In this case, for the value property, I can click and select the tag that I'm interested in. Similarly, for other properties, I can select the tag that I'm interested in, click the three dots to the right of the tag that shows the metadata associated with it as well. So being able to bind things like minimum and maximum values, uh, names and descriptions to use on my page. And that's it. 
once those bindings are set, I can save the graphic. And it really is that simple. You can now begin to upload all sorts of graphics to extend your inside application with the specific customizations that you need. Now, the online help will outline everything that you need to know to get started, including how to get set up with Connect and Integration Studio, how to configure the permissions that you need, and then how to use graphics within Insight. It will also go through any functional limitations, including all the different scripting libraries that are or aren't supported in the cloud. So I'd certainly encourage you to check this out. Remember, it does require you to use Integration Studio, the license that comes with Development Studio. But once you have that set up, it's easy to be using your graphics and insight. As always, I hope you enjoy this new capability and I'd love for you to let me know what you think.